My name is Vinay Badwar. I'm a heart surgeon in Morgantown, West Virginia at West Virginia University at the Heart and Vascular Institute. I've been in practice for 17 years, predominantly doing complex valve surgery. One of the wonderful things of our team at West Virginia University Heart and Vascular Institute is that we specialize in complex valve surgery and particularly mitral valve repair. Patients presenting with mitral valve disease often have a leaky mitral valve or what's called mitral valve prolapse. The two leaflets that normally meet in the middle, one or both can be defective. The leaflet no longer meets in the middle and blood goes back in the top left chamber into the lungs and can cause shortness of breath and even what would otherwise be termed as congestive heart failure. If the valve leak goes unchecked, people actually can die from valvular heart disease. Mitral valve prolapse and mitral regurgitation is very common. Over 5% of the U.S. population have mitral valve disease. Usually by the fourth decade of life, many people need the valve repaired. It can often be the only operation one ever needs for the rest of their life. Our team here at the West Virginia University Heart Vascular Institute has a vast amount of experience with mitral valve repair of all approaches. And in our center, our preferred approach robotically provides the highest level of precision to provide complex valve repair. The fact that this can be done precisely, safely, and with the least pain possible. There's no bones that are broken, we go through the tissues in the side through a small little skin incision, and we're able to complete the valve repair equal to, if not in some cases better, than if it's done through the front. Robotic technology allows us to be able to accelerate the amount of things we can do with the twisting of the hands. It's 360 degrees as opposed to just the clock face of one's hand. And visualization of the valve, not just on the surface of the leaf tissue that a surgeon's eyes normally sees. We can actually go down past the valve into the heart itself and look at things that you would not otherwise be able to see. And that allows for a significant advancement in precision. After robotic march of valve repair surgery, oftentimes people are taken off the ventilator in the operating room. The recovery time in the hospital is between three to five days. People are usually ambulatory or walking around, uh, usually the same night. And your recovery is really muscular because there's no bones or anything uh, that are disturbed. So many times people only take a Tylenol and the recovery back to work or back to normal activity is much less than through the front. I'd want that for my family member or myself. At the West Virginia University Heart and Vascular Institute, we have truly an outstanding team of providers. Surgeons, anesthesiologists, nurses, all working together for our patients, particularly with valvular heart disease, and importantly, with mitral valve disease. The American College of Cardiology, one of our leading heart um, societies, have established guidelines that indicate what defines a center of excellence or a reference center. And that's a valve repair rate bar of at least 90 to 95%. At the West Virginia Heart and Vascular Institute, we far exceed that bar.